Does ever say money good Shetland words for the water? It's a recently bonny day in Hearst, Shetland word for autumn. Uh, while it's fine Inu, we might not be too far from there being a dune tomb. And that's a word that we use for a, a dune pour of rain, a lot of rain. Dune tomb is a brilliant word because it's very descriptive of a dune pour of rain, like it's just lows and dune. Usually you would associate that way, not too much wind and you can see the quantity of water that's coming down. And if it was cold enough, then you might lip in there to be hairy puckles instead of rain. Puckles are mere frozen when they land on the earth. They would lie and make a covering of snow, turn the ground white. I love the word uh, hairy puckles because you can almost feel them, like a puckle being like a pretty bar, a hail that comes down through the sky and it conjures up this idea of them bouncing if they were, maybe bouncing off the car or bouncing off the windowsill. The bears would open the curtains and say, Mom, look at the hailey puckles. Hailey puckles is big, thick things of hail, like hailstones. My peedy dog Casper, he loves going out and them. I've seen him catching on his tongue once, but he's quite a weirdo. And obviously here in Shetland Island in the North Sea, the water is a changing. And it's probably through this wide that we see the water come and go from one extreme to the next that we hear the expression that it was a day of twin waters. Well, this is like a day of twin waters for Wazino anyway, because yesterday was a dune tomb. And the day it's lovely and dry and even sunny between the cloods. And the morning is to be rainy as well. So that's like a day of twin weather, where you've got a better day of twin horrible days. This past week, I was able to hang me washing out on Thursday because it was a day of twin the waters. Wednesday had been poor and Friday was a, a dune tomb. It was lousing. So Thursday this past week was a day of twin the waters. And I was blind of it. A word that uh, is very good at mirroring what it describes is the word stick it. Stick it is a really thick mist that obscures visibility. Um, the mist here hint me is no stick it yet, but if it came in any more, it would be. If it was a, if we couldn't see the sea and we couldn't mark out anything, it would be a stick it mist. When I was trying to feed my uncle the Ruiz rams, the fog was so thick that I couldn't see them. Then I just turned and I felt this saggy ram's tongue licking my hand. It wasn't pleasant. I don't think anybody would ever say that they enjoy stick it mist or, or lick it in any way. It's usually something that's going to cause inconvenience, whether it's cancelling planes because they kind of get in and out or uh, you're trying to drive somewhere and you kind of see it for you, then stick it mist is always a problem and it's a regular feature here in Shetland. Flukra is an apple bony word and it describes like the gentle or pretty wise fall in a large snowflakes. Flukra is a thick kind of snow like this. In Shetland we had a lot of flukra last night because we've gotten thick, lovely, fluffy snow. You would hear Flukra on a day when it was maybe flat, calm, nay much wind, maybe just a pity pur of wind. You can whack snowballs and throw them at your pals and perfect for catching on your tongue. And you would maybe go out for a whack on a night with a bony Flukra and it was still and calm. You could nearly just catch them in the, in the loof of your hand and they would just melt like that. And it's an awful bony thing, so I, I like that we hear wood for for that type of snow and that type of weather. The tourist board here really fine saying for it. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. <laughs>